Hi friends, it's Matthew picking and piping. Hope you're doing well. Um, I am sitting in my wife's van at my daughter's soccer practice. And it was, it's only an hour long. So I figured I would just wait here cause it's like a 15 minute drive to and from. So it didn't make sense for me to go home and then come back. So anyway, I uh, just kind of sitting here waiting and I figured I'd do a video while I uh, had some time. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do a video last weekend like I usually do. Uh, I had a crazy week because I was in Boston for work. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to LJ Peretti like I wanted to. Uh, I was going to try and do some footage there and do a video, but uh, they only have business hours during the day. Like they close at five, nine to five or something like that on during the week. And that's when I'm working. So <clears throat> it was hard for me to get, uh, I, I was just so busy. I couldn't uh, get there. So hopefully next time I'll try, um, and get there when I go to Boston, cause it's going to be pretty frequently that I go for work. Um, and then this weekend I was trying to do a video. I don't know why I'm going through all this. I was trying to, I'm trying to do a video with my wife cause we haven't really done a video with her yet. And, um, cause last week was our anniversary and, it just didn't happen and she's being shy, which is unlike her. So hopefully I'll get that done soon. We'll see. I don't know if it'll happen, but anyway, so I wanted to respond to Chad's uh, question of the week. It's been a few weeks since I've done any of those and his video or his question this week was about, um, talk about a time in your life or an experience when you're in over your head. Um, this one made me think a bit, but then again, it's the answer is kind of right in front of my face. Um, uh, I have five kids and we have like 10 pets and that's not even an exaggeration. So every day is over. I, I feel like I'm in over my head. Um, but that's too simple of an answer. So, um, it is true though. Um, I think the best time I was when I, I felt in over my head when I, I, and probably the best experience, one of the best experiences of my life was when I traveled abroad. Um, I spent a semester in college um, in Austria. Um, I did an exchange, it wasn't called foreign exchange, but uh, a semester abroad in Austria. And we only went to school four days a week. And so we had every Friday through Sunday, actually Thursday evening, Thursday afternoon, evening through Sunday to travel. And so being in central Europe, you're close to everything. So I, every pretty much for a whole semester, three and a half months, almost every weekend was traveling. And then there was a 10 day break when I traveled. Um, that felt very in over my head, especially the first couple weekends, because it's foreign countries. A lot of times, I, a couple times I went by myself and didn't have friends to rely on to help me, which um, was, a, a, you know, a big, big help when they did go, when we went together in groups. Um, but uh, also, I think part of it was um, when I was there, it was when 9-11 happened. Sorry, I'm looking like way down. 9-11 happened when I was in Austria and, or I should say I was in Austria when 9-11 happened. And uh, traveling was very different after that. Um, it was scary time, even though we were in Europe and not here where it seemed like it was the biggest threat. There were a lot of anti-American protests. There was, just a lot of unsuredness about what's gonna ha what could happen next, any other terrorist acts, um, and so it was it was scary traveling some weekends, especially in big cities. Um, but on a lighter note, it was very funny too. Like I went to Poland one of my first weekends with a group of people. Poland's one of those countries where not a lot of people speak English. Some they do, and you can get by pretty easily. Poland they don't. Great country, love the place, love the people, the food is fantastic. 
but it was hard to get around and felt very in over my head because it's not a language anyone knows from our group. Like some people knew Spanish, a few knew French or Italian, you know, Polish, no. <laughs> and they didn't know English. So it was, it was, it was a challenge. Uh, and Paris was a challenge because while people knew English, the French aren't exactly the most friendly about helping you out. Um, but I love Paris, one of my favorite places to visit. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that, I, I felt very in over my head. Uh, it took me a few weeks to really get comfortable traveling, um, whether it was in a group or on my own, but to foreign countries when you didn't have, and this is before the internet, like was popular before we had cell phones everywhere. And I mean, their internet existed, but there wasn't the easy access to it um still had dial up most places um and didn't have cell phones so i didn't have the ease and the comfort of the technology um so anyway it, it was it was uh interesting and i'll tell you leave you with one other funny story i feel like i've been rambling a bit um felt very in over my head it was me and two female friends of mine um close friends really uh, we they were really nice and great and we uh the three of us went to Salzburg Austria for a couple days and then part of this weekend trip what the focus of the trip was we wanted to go to Munich and we wanted to go to Oktoberfest because it was in early October or late September or something like that when Oktoberfest was going on like we wanted to go to the Oktoberfest and if you've ever seen pictures or been there yourself or, you know, seen footage from it, it is like a madhouse. I think they were averaging at the time 6 million people attend this during a 10-day festival or something like that. Like it's wall-to-wall -wall people, standing room only in these beer tents. And even outside in these festival grounds, it was, you know, insanely packed and it was a blast. It was a great time, great experience inside these beer halls. But, you know, I felt very like wanted to be the protector because I'm with two college girls. And, you know, here are these millions of people around me drinking and pounding the beer steins back and all that. It's not exactly the most savory of places or the most, um, <clears throat> uh, places you feel safest in the world but um it was a lot of fun actually I didn't drink a lot because I felt like I was being the protector so <laughs> it's funny because uh then the night after we went back to Salzburg on our way back to Austria where in Austria where our campus was and we stopped at another brewery in Salzburg and I made up for not drinking a lot of, at Oktoberfest um I think I had two liters of beer. Yeah, two liters, maybe three. I, I and I wasn't even that drunk. I just had to pee so bad. <laughs> That's another story. Anyway, I've probably TMI. I'm sure too much information, and I've rambled on. So um, yeah, thanks for your question, Chad. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, stay safe, God bless, and I'll talk to you again soon.